low turnout by Arab Israeli citizens that may hand Netanyahu a victory on November 1st elections here in Israel. Latest polls indicate an historic low and growing apathy among Arab voters. So with me here now is also Ali Wakhed, head of I24 News uh, Arabic channel. Uh, good to see you, Ali. Thank you, Yanko. Uh, first of all, let, let's explain why uh, this is so important. What's the situation with the Arab vote? Well, as you know, uh, uh, last September, the uh, joint list, the parties that uh, compose the joint list decide to uh, split, and uh, we have now uh, two uh, different uh, parties that were in the past one joint uh, list, and uh, the fact that the Arabic population want to sanction uh, these uh, lists for not uh, keeping the uh, unity is one, of the, uh, is one of the reasons. The second reason is that the, the Arab community didn't see any uh, major difference uh, since uh, Lapid Bennett uh, came to uh, uh, power. They saw that the uh, demolishing of houses in the Negev uh, mainly kept the same levels that it was uh, during uh, Netanyahu uh, uh, government. The fact that uh, having an Arabic uh, political party within the uh, coalition didn't contribute to a major change in the situation in the state of Arab uh, Israelis. All these uh, elements, but mainly the fact that the joint list is split uh, made the Arab unsatisfied, willing to sanction the Arab uh, politicians and sanction and the stay Arab at home, not going to vote, and that, according to uh, the uh, you know the power struggle in Israeli politics, will give the right wing. A victory. Uh, does that make it, does it make any sense? Absolutely. And this is the card that the Arab, uh, the Arab parties are uh, playing in, that staying home, you are serving a Netanyahu, and now the new star is, not, is no more Netanyahu, is Itamar uh, uh, Ben-Gvir, uh, which means that the Arab parties are trying to frighten the uh, uh, Arab voters that staying home, you will bring us uh, uh, Ben-Gvir as Minister of Interior, as Minister of uh, Internal uh, uh, Security. Now the expectations are that in the maximum, the turnout will reach 50 percent, uh, but yet 50 percent in best case means that the uh, uh, number of seats will uh, fall from uh, 10 in the last elections to 8 in best scenarios to 9, uh, which mean one less M Arab MK in the, uh, in the Knesset. But some polls of the parties uh, anticipate that Two lists will disappear, not only Balad, which have uh, difficulties to reach the 3.25 uh, 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 eligibility level, but also Khadash Tal, the party of Ahmad uh, Tibi and, uh, and company, might not uh, reach the Knesset if the uh, turnout levels uh, stay as it is now. Yeah, Amir, so Israeli politics, uh, original. Yes, As always. You know, um, one suspects that Albert Einstein was not Palestinian because obviously he came out with the relativity theory and many of the Arab voters uh, who say, well, all Israelis are the same, all Israeli parties and leaders are the same, do not see the uh, nuances uh, between them. Uh, as Ali mentioned, some of the party leaders do. But in any event, there is some uh, signs of support for Lapid's party because Deputy Minister Yoav Segalovich has made inroads, uh, both in his uh, work against uh, crime uh, within the Arab society and in his political well, work. They did not really succeed, uh, Amir. The numbers of crimes in the Arab community in the last year are not, uh, in fear, are not different than the numbers uh, during uh, Benjamin Netanyahu government. We are uh, right up to a point because the trend uh, at least uh, is positive. Yes, the numbers are very negative, but the trend seems to be uh, positive, and Segalovich has some support. Whether this will be translated for a vote for Yashati remains to be seen. But there is some sympathy. And we uh, to know that uh, uh, Mr. Lapid is rethinking visiting uh, Nazareth after hearing that uh, there will be protests against his visit in the biggest Arabic uh, city in Israel.